We're good. Poo. I have one hour and 11 minutes left. Okay, we have got some of those done. We'll, I might as well quickly mark into the neck. while we're doing some drilling. Hmm. So it's a five and a half. So they're M5 bolts. Okay, so those are marked. We'll fit the bolts into that at a later time. I need to get the finish on. I need to get a finish on. I'm going to end up purple and blue, aren't I? So that's royal blue. Here's some purple. And uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This this is just no point, is there? Hold on, I'm in a pretty intense rush. going on a little bit more wet than I would usually attempt. It's also accelerating, accentuating the stains. Boy, the scratches, sorry. I'm already regretting this. So one of the options actually was that we go um, completely insane and do a, a galaxy finish, which, yeah, could still be done, possibly. But uh, that just took some too, too long. It, it's time consuming. Even this is pretty time consuming. Purple stain doesn't smell very nice. I think we need to add um, <laughs> scent in with our stains. That would probably screw up somehow. Your finish is no longer compatible with life.
Oh no. The camera just points at the clock and I go, Whoa! do want it in the grain if I can help it. <sighs> I also don't want to have to take the whole guitar apart and refinish it at some point. So uh, yeah, let's try and avoid that if we can help it. Okay, we're in the grain. That's it with purple. Uh, yeah, it looks like I've been doing something really sketchy. Okay, I'm going to Royal Blue. See, even our prototypes are made using really nice wood. We're figuring up there. Something makes me think I should probably have thought to have gloves. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? This is water-based stain. We're hoping to actually have um, spirit-based stains available soon as well. We'll see. I don't like looking at the clock. Don't make me look at the clock. Thank you. 
Hmm. I don't like the straight line going through. Where's that purple gun? Guitar should always be, should always have a sense of forward motion. That's one of the reasons why I, I don't know where that's blue, that's not purple. Ah! Wrong stain. Um, sheesh. Yeah, a sense of forward motion is they're rocket ships with strings. needs to dry. I'm fairly happy with that. It's got a thing going on. There's obviously scratch plates and stuff involved as well. Um, I'm just going to put this down somewhere. <laughs> Let's hope nobody leans in it. <laughs> what the hell? Now there's a continuity check. <laughs> ben, your hands are suddenly clean. How did you do all of that fretwork in 30 seconds with clean hands and then Um, okay, while I'm here, where is that? Strap buttons are kind of required. Strap buttons don't go there, by the way. Okay, so those holes are drilled. This needs to dry, kinda. I'm just gonna leave it there. You chill out with my hat guitar and uh, um, we're good. Should I have some red? You do need to shake our stains. In fact, you do need to shake anybody's stains, really. It's just, it's just how it works. a number of people who are currently screaming at their screens, get a move on, burn! <sighs> Me too. planned at all. Okay, mother bleepers. <laughs> I've become less YouTube safe 
as uh, as this progresses. Oh, poo! I need I need a neck. Well, I've got no choice now. I'm going to have to stay in the neck because um, uh, I do, or I could just leave it raw. Fifty-five minutes left. Poop. Okay. The, the thing is, get the that you are most worried about out of the way as fast as you can. Wow, it's actually pretty damn flat. Okay, um, good. I am not going to, I am not going to find my tools. Where are my tools? Seriously? Oh, you are. Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay, so slight change. Um, what? Well, we took a break to change a battery. So I'm doing this now to let the body dry a little bit and uh, because this is the part of the job that I don't think can really be done effectively and I don't want to leave this till last so change of pace I'm also not going to be uh, masking off the fretboard, which means I'm probably not going to use a traditional crowning file, which means I'm, somebody is almost definitely going to have to come back and redo these frets at some point. They will, however, be level and flat, just not effectively crowned. Disclaimer, this isn't how you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to care about your fresh ends. You'd be surprised actually. Fret ends are, to my mind, the thing that really distinguishes a, a guitar, um, a proper, a good, a very good guitar. Uh, I've, I've happily spent more than half a day once on a, on a guitar's fret ends to get them absolutely as good as I possibly could. And then Christopher came and said, mm, I'll do it this way. And his was a better way. <laughs> That's why we employ people. <laughs> employ people who are better than you and let them do their jobs. Dark. Okay. I don't care what colour it is. So at this stage, 51 minutes to go. Oh, I completely messed that up. Leveling beam. Leveling beam.
So use the notch straight edge to check that the neck was flat beforehand. Green's a little bit annoying. Okay. Now I'm doing a little bit more on this end. I'm actually trying to to work in some fall away. Okay, that seems, seems good. Completely missed the neck at that point. Okay, uh, we're good. Now, Ooh. this is a lovely little uh, prototype, actually. Um, I've never really been a fan of leveling beams. I like the functionality, but the feel is just not there for me. We love our leveling beams. So this is a leveling beam with um, aluminium channel that we ne then level absolutely perfectly flat. And it's just like a leveling beam. It's a cross between a leveling beam and a leveling file. We might, just might, put these into production at some point. I need to do. Forty seven minutes <laughs> and twenty seconds in this build, the twenty seconds matter. <laughs> If this was any other fret, if this was a maple fretboard, this would be impossible. It just wouldn't, it just wouldn't work. Uh, so I'm just rounding the fret ends over. Very crudely. I've done something similar before with a, a kid guitar build at some point. What's that? That's 1500, that's too much. <laughs> Utter fail. Christopher never watches this. He 
he's just going to stand there shaking his head. Disappointment. Okay. Oh, come on, where are you? Nope. Ah. There we go. Okay, and I think I'm actually just about done. They're pretty shiny. They're relatively, yeah, relatively comfortable. We have a fret job. 44. Okay. Applaud. <laughs> I did a talk. Um, I, was, I was doing a lecture at a woodworking show. And uh, at the end of the lecture, there weren't any questions, and I just went, applaud! Uh, I don't know where it came from, but they applauded, and it worked. It was... <sighs> so, yeah, that's my new go-to thing. <sighs> okay. Frets are done. I didn't damage the neck too much or stain the neck too much with my really dirty fingers. Now I could just leave this neck bare and raw because that is actually a, well it is a valid, a valid finish that people like. Um, they like the feel of a raw neck. I like the feel of a raw neck. Um, 43 minutes to go. Do you know what? We've reached that stage where on the bench starts impinging the usability of said bench. Rule number one, even on a build this intense and fast, if at all possible, Try and put things away where they belong. He says, chuck the shit all over the floor. Okay, let's see. This is still, still damp, but it is drying. I might even, I might even get a, uh, I might even get a heat gun out and hit it with a heat gun at some point. One hundred minute build. Who the hell thought that was a good idea? Ah, yeah, it was me, wasn't it? Damn it. Okay, I, 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 I don't particularly want a raw neck. What colors have we got here? Orange, black, blue, yellow. Black, blue. Okay. 
Hmm. I'll put the inserts in. Should I put the inserts in? See, I put those scissors away earlier. I knew exactly where they were. That's nice inside. Six. Let's see. Hmm. Probably should have actually measured these before. don't tend to eyeball quite this often when I'm doing a build but hey. okay this is uh, this is interesting I think these need a special tool to install actually, which is a little bit problematic to say the least. Hmm. Of course. That worked. Five nut. Because these things don't uh, install normally. I've had to be clever. Fish. So essentially, I didn't lose it. I didn't lose it. No, come, come up, up you go. Essentially, two on the top one locks the second together. And then I'm using the the bolt ish. There we go. As the tool. And then I just need to loosen that bolt off and we're sorted which is fine until you get to the last one when if you don't have another M5 bolt you're scuppered I'm lucky that I have 
a workshop full of stuff. Uh, often these inserts will have um, a slot or the insert itself will have a head, uh, an Allen key head or something like that. I'm just waiting for uh, I'm just waiting for Tom Webster, our head toolmaker, to to find us one. So while he's doing that, Any luck, Tom? Uh, yeah. uh, no. Thank you. So I delegated to Tom. Tom delegated to Ian. Ian might delegate to Carlo, the intern, or possibly an apprentice. We'll see. James walks in and he just smiles. And uh, yes. You're amusing. How are you, James? Yeah, good. 34 minutes to go, nearly. They don't come with a tool. No, they don't. Right. Which, uh, which is a bit silly. Um, anyway, okay, that's not a problem, though. I have got some staining to do. I'll put the rest of the stain in, the rest of the stuff in afterwards. Mm -hmm.